Yeah, I mean, first off, I mean, I think given respect where respect is due, I mean, hats off to Tulane. I think, you know, they're, they, they know they have an identity over there. I think their head coach does a phenomenal job at identifying that identity. And, you know, the, the hardest thing for me as a coach right now is, is how close we are, but yet how far away we are, just knowing that, that the way that they wanted to run this and execute this game plan. I mean, we knew we had to stop the run. Couldn't do it. I'm Mackenzie Hughes. Um, therefore, we knew it was going to be a big challenge. I mean, these these guys are really big up front, do a great job with a big back, and and you know, so first and foremost, we we didn't win that part of the game. Uh, second off, they prey on on turnovers and the turnover margin. Um, I think any time that you give a team like this that that is is really good from top to bottom, all three sides of the ball, you give them two opportunities in the red zone. Um, it just can't happen in a game of this magnitude, and um, and that's something too that that you know that we talked about and, and putting the ball on the on the turf twice like that um, were huge pieces to it. Um, so you know we we got to go back like we're we're on track right now. We got a bunch of young kids that are playing for us out there. You know had some mistakes by some true freshmen, um, but but I feel like our our program's on track right now. Um, it just it's it's kind of it's more frustrating to me because it's it's kind of like the same thing that happened last year in, in almost eerily some of the same ways. And so our, our kids are fighting hard. They're resilient. Um, but that's not enough sometimes to beat to beat a good football team. And so, um, you know, I, I think that going in this bye week is going to be big for us right now, especially, you know, it doesn't get any easier for us. Probably the best rushing attack in the nation coming coming into town um, a week from now. And so. Um, we, we don't have time for us to, to sit around and worry about stuff. Like we got to be able to get fixed, some things fixed. Um, and that's going to start with stopping, you know, the run next week. I mean, everybody's going to know Army's going to come in here and run the ball against us. And on the offensive side of the ball, I, I just – I think that when we hurt ourselves and go back, we're, obviously we're explosive. Obviously, you know, it's something that didn't, didn't feel like we were ever able to get the running game going today. Um, you know, I thought our tempo was effective. When we were good on first down, we were really able to – you know, we went on some crazy long drives. I mean, at one point, I mean, I think we, we went on a 23-play drive, you know, a 15-play drive. And so I, I don't think, you know, that the time of possession or that we were worn down was a huge part of this game. Um, I think it was just, you know, some straight-up execution on them. Um, and, and then for us, just w when we go backwards and we have the negative plays, um, obviously kills us. Um, you know, early fourth down, you know, we had we had a perfect play call and, and Chandler just overthrows Miles on a on a quick out to the sideline. And so just I mean, you just those those are so precious in games like this where, where you just can't afford to, to have those mistakes. And, and you got to be able to stay on the field and, and find ways to score points on some of those good drives that we have. Yeah, obviously Chandler went out there for a uh, series. What was the I mean, we, we all saw him get leveled there. What was the to happen on that play that forced him out of the game. What's his status going forward? Yeah, so I mean, obviously, status is is quo right now. I mean, he came back in the game. He's a warrior. He's tough as nails. Um, you know, I think that he needed a little bit of time on the sideline, but doctors checked him out. We got a great medical team um, and and cleared him, and, and he wanted to go in there and play. Was able to rip some balls on the side. And I thought you saw a little bit of aftermath of it. You know, down there at the goal line, he dirted a ball that I've probably never seen him do since since we've been here. So. A uh, good week for us to have a bye week, knowing that he's probably going to be sore, um, taking a shot like that, be able to rest him up and, and get him ready to, to go out there and, and play against Army. And so, uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll know more on Tuesday, kind of just the severity of it and, and kind of exactly what it is. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. It's, it's multiple things. I mean, I think just from, from him getting hit uh, just was, was a little bit hurting there. Uh, despite the loss, who do you think kind of stood out as far as effort and execution today? I have to really go back and watch it. You know, um, you know, I thought Miles Coleman did some nice stuff when he came in the game. Um, you know, I thought DT was was good during the course of the game. You know, I had one big drop on a third down. We had a screen drawn up perfectly in the middle of the field that you know is is maybe a touchdown with DT left. We got the safety out with some motion. Um, big drop in those. And so that's it just, I mean, these games, like with where we're at right now as a program, I mean, you almost have to be perfect on some of the stuff and, and all those, you know, a drop here, uh, a overthrow here, um, a, a false start here. I mean, those are those are big deals and they start adding up in, into little things. And so, uh, so, yeah, it was good to have D Ward back. Obviously, I mean, I, I think having him out there was was big for us. We knew this was aggressive defense. You know, we knew, you know, on the perimeter, they like to play man-to-man. -man. They're super aggressive. 
I think our kids took the challenge. I mean, I thought we ran some nice routes and, and were able to hit some double moves on them and, and get open down the field, which is part of the game plan. Um, just just holistically, I mean, just I, I think the big keys were what we talked about earlier, just the, the two turnovers can't happen against a team like this in, in that part of the field. And, and, then, uh, and then obviously they were, they were able to control this game running the football. Yeah, and you just mentioned it. Uh, how did they challenge you in that aspect in the run game today? On our running game or them running it? Both, I guess. Yeah, we didn't run it very well. You know, I thought, um, you know, and, and even they blitzed a little bit more, and I, I think they wanted to kind of disrupt some of our offensive line, some of our zone scheme stuff. So they did a nice job really hitting some gaps and, and forcing the ball to cut back in a hurry, which they hadn't shown on film. Um, you know, something Rice had did a good job running outside of zone against them. And, and outside zone has been a good play for us this year. And, and you could tell they had a plan for it because that was kind of our plan. Um, and so, and then I think, you know, kind of just with the way the game flowed a little bit, I think, you know, it's kind of, it made us get into probably throwing the ball a little bit earlier than I, I would have liked. I don't even know how many attempts that we had. We have 57 attempts. Like, that's too much. Um, although, you know, probably pretty efficient. We're able to, you know, throw for some yards and do those things. But, but you know, I think that was a product of, of us getting down and, and trying to kind of fight back out, out of that hole. You know, you go into the bye week uh, before you play one of the best rushing uh, offenses in the entire country. Uh, what do you feel like you'll have to change, or is there any changes you might need to make? Like, not with the staff. I'm just saying in general as a team. Yeah, absolutely. I think I think change is inevitable for us to be able to be able to stop the run. I mean, I, we can't sit here and just say, "Hey, it's just okay," right? And and so um, we we got I got to do a good job next week of of getting getting us back together and and really fair because our, our kids are playing hard for us right and and so we got to do a great job in using this time and and examining you know is it is it scheme is it player or what can we do better to put them in a better situation and and so and that starts with that starts with me obviously right and that starts with me being able to ask the hard questions that starts with me being able to um to to ask for for some answers and and then figure out Hey, what what what's next in this thing, right? Because it can't continue to to be a thing week in week out. And so us us finding, I mean, it's it's good that we have a week off. Um, I think right now, just because you know we got to do some soul searching right now and, and be able to fix that, um, or or I think you know it puts us right back in a situation where you know we're not playing complimentary football and 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 it just the ball starts rolling and, and ends up being negative. Stadium attendance was announced at 23,000, about 75% full. What did you think of the atmosphere for the homecoming game? Yeah, I thought it was good. I thought it was good. Um, you know, I thought, you know, our students were, were loud, you know, especially early in the game. You know, I thought they had good energy over there, um, you know, behind us too. And, and too, you know, I, I just – it it keeps hurting, you know, me just because I'm, I'm such a competitor and want to win and, and I want to put a great product out there for them like – we got to capitalize on some of this, and I always say, you know, if we build it, they'll come, right? And it'll keep growing and keeps getting bigger. And so, um, you know, I, I, I appreciate everybody came today, you know, and, and too, I think it's going to be a challenge, right? This this next one, we know Army travels well, just all over the country, wherever they go. I think, you know, they have alumni in, in a big alumni base in, in the DFW area, right? And so I think that'll naturally be a game that they'll travel well, and and, and that our fans, you know, we we could we we support appreciate their support and, and the way it's going but but I we need to give them something too we need to give them one of these big marquee wins like like today yeah it seemed like a big a big part of that game was just falling behind early you guys dug yourselves a pretty big hole there did that just put you guys in such a tough spot to be down that big that early yeah yeah there's no doubt I think I think that definitely it's hard to hard to um, come back especially with a team that likes to control the ball and, I, and our kids you know um, you know, they fought back. It didn't stop them from doing it. You know, we found a way to cut it, and we had two chances at, at some onside kicks that I thought we, we executed some pretty good onside kicks. That ball was up in the air in a spot that, you know, we, we had people around the ball, um, weren't able to get them. Um, and, and so, but, but yeah, I think, you know, any, anytime you're playing from way behind against a good, good opponent like that, it makes it tough. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned just the, the close games and losing the close games. Does this just go down as another one in that category? They just can't seem to quite get over the hump here. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right, that was fine. Yeah, Coach, on the topic of the running game, um, 
Do you have any updates on Shane Porter after he was showing some discomfort as well? And also, what did you think of Kiefer Sibley kind of stepping into a, a lead role today? Yeah, and, and Shane got banged up early there in the first quarter. Um, and Shane's a guy, and, and that's something that we've talked about as staff, just us knowing, right? I mean, he's, he's not built like a running back. I mean, he's a little bit of a smaller guy, and he's been fantastic for us this year. Um, but anytime you're, you're taking those hits in between the tackle, um, it's something you need a little meat on your bones. And so he got banged up, and then it was something that uh, we thought Kiefer's been practicing well. When we put him in, you know, he's, he's done a pretty dang good job for us holistically. And so he's going to be a great player around here. Proud of the kid. Um, proud of coming in and, and executing. And, and he had some key, you know, blitz pickup stuff for us where, you know, that huge Mike linebacker. It's a great player there. Um, and Kiefer stoned him a couple times and some, some blitz, um, some protection pickup stuff. And so, so yeah, I think Kiefer's, Kiefer's going to be a marquee part of kind of what we do here in the future. Uh, just got to stop beating ourselves, you know, just, just play uh, complimentary football. That's all I can say about that. Back up to, out there and have have yourself a pretty big game. Uh, it's pretty good, you know, just just knowing that I wanted to be out there, but the stuff I was dealing with, the injury and stuff. So just taking it day to day, not rushing it, and it worked out for me. Yeah, how tough is it to see these close games continue to get away from you guys? I mean, it's frustrating. You know, we want to win. That's the main goal. You know, it's not about stats, individual stats, and then like that. The end goal is to win and go get us a conference championship. So it's very frustrating just knowing the type of football team we have and we just not putting it together on all three phases. You guys just dig yourselves too big a hole early against a good team like that. You just got to start faster. What, what, why do you think you guys have struggled to do that? I mean, it's just they game plan just like us. So, I mean, it's just we just got to find, you know, we just got to start faster. That's, that's really all it is, self-inflicted. <coughs> and uh, thoughts on the day that Chandler Morris had four total touchdowns, two of them going to you? Uh, you know, Chandler a baller. We didn't seen that week in and week out. So, you know, that stuff don't surprise us. You know, he a baller. Like, we go as he goes. So, you know, it was most definitely, yeah. How big will this bye week be just to get a bunch of the guys uh, some extra recovery going into Oh uh, Yeah, big extra recovery and then just fixing them self-inflicted wounds that we was talking about, just just playing together as a team and then starting practice on them Tuesdays and Wednesdays where that's a work day, you know, so. Was that kind of a hold your breath moment when Chandler got leveled there, you know, and had to go out of that game for you? I mean, yeah, most definitely. You know, you don't want to see your guy get hurt, especially the starting quarterback, but, like, you know, I just tried to keep the guys locked in, just knowing that we still got a job to finish, you know, and he wanted us to finish the job with him in the tent, you know, like no matter if he was hurt or not, he still wanted us to go out there and try to win that game. So, Yeah, they really shut your guys' running game down, 25 carries for 76 yards. That put a lot of pressure on you guys in the passing game to continue to produce. I mean, I mean, not really. I mean, we still have 400 yards of offense, so. I know we talked about the self-inflicted wounds, but how would you grade y'all's response to it on the offense? So as you get behind the chains, but it seemed like you responded every time. Uh, I say yeah, we responded well, but like I said, like just with the starting fast, we gave them perfect field position two times, and they got 14 points off of it. Then we lose by seven, you know. So, I mean, it's just the self-inflicted wounds. We beat ourselves. So, I mean, we just got to get back to the drawing board and, you know, just compete with each other in practice, and it'll take care of itself on Saturdays. Uh, obviously the outcome we didn't expect or obviously want. Um, they did a good job running the ball. Um, we just couldn't stop the run. Uh, and that's one of our main goals going into pretty much every game. So, yeah. Jalen, how do you feel about your personal performance? You led the team with 10 tackles today. Um, outside of, I don't really be focusing on my personal performance. Like, at the end of the day, I'd rather win. I was really expecting to get a homecoming win. Um, you know, my family from all the way came from Canada. So um, outside of my personal performance, I could really care less. I just wanted to win. So uh, me and my family can celebrate after the game. So, what did you see on that interception that you caught? Um, I knew that he was going to roll out because um, we got pressure in the backfield. And then I remember uh, um, during our meetings and stuff that he's always going to throw the ball in between the divider. So I just knew to sit there and wait for that ball to come to me. And, um, just how do you kind of stay motivated after a loss like this and just prepare for the next game on the schedule? Uh, I really use these motivation, like motivational things when, uh, when we lose because next game we're going to be underdogs. Pretty much every game we're underdogs. So I use that mentality because I've been an underdog my whole life. So, yeah. Yeah, Tulane is a good running team. Army, your next opponent, is also a good running team. What do you think you all have to do to kind of change up uh, or, you know, during this bye week of what you all need to do? Um, we really need to focus on fitting our gaps and hitting them and uh, learning to correct and um, 
key out of certain situations where they're doing because uh, what we noticed was Tulane was cracking our safeties, so we didn't have any extra fitters to the run. So um, at the end of the day, it just comes down to remembering what our plays were and uh, learning to adjust to the new things that come towards us. So on the defensive side of the run game, like you're talking about there, do you think it's more just like missed assignments or is it like y'all are in the space to make the tackle and just not make the tackle? Um, I would say more missed assignments. Um, there were some plays where we had them down and obviously the yards after contact were a little bit more than we were expecting. Um, I know I missed the play. I had a critical error. Uh, I let the ball get outside of me. So at the end of the day, it just comes down to trusting our spot or being in our spot and trusting that our guys are going to do the job beside us. Yeah, they only threw the ball 13 times the entire game. Did they just, did you guys know what was coming, just not able to stop it? I mean, we knew they were going to run the ball, um, but when you're obviously having that much success running the ball, they're going to keep continuing to run the ball. So. Yeah, just what are your thoughts about facing the triple option against Army in your next game? Like um, I remember playing against them last year, against Navy, or playing against Navy last year. Um, obviously, it's a, it's a tough task. Uh, considering their quarterback's really good, and um, and I know that they'll get out to a shotgun sometimes, or even run or throw the ball in a, in a triple option formation. So we just have to be really locked into film for during our bye week. Did you guys dig yourselves just too big a hole in that game to be able to pull that out? Um, yes and no. Um, there was a situation where um, we had that kick return uh, fumble. Um, Always does the best ball, but don't matter what where we get put in, we, defense has to stop them. Um, they obviously ran a good play against a, a blitz, so we didn't have enough fitters towards that run. So.